You what? will never. <laughs> yeah, what was that from? I was like, what's that reference? You will never be glad or something like that. <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel and welcome to the gorgeous, glamorous, relish winner. Oh, she's had some Botox. Look she's, at that. She's been walking up. <laughs> duck. <laughs> what? Hello, <laughs> duck bitch. Hi everyone! Hello, hello and welcome back. How are you doing, my love? I am gaping. Gaping? gaping. And the reason why Roly is gaping is because we've just finished filming a video. No, it's because I just... <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing OnlyFans, it's because we were laughing at the content. Oh, uh, you disgusting. Exposed. Honestly, I don't know what happened there. America's no. next top gape. You wanna be on top? <laughs> well, talking about America's next top gape, welcome back to another episode of Pete's PA Girls. And the PA stands for gape. Naughty mummy. Oh, it is actually called Pete Burns's PA. I'm so confused. They've changed the name. Oh, Hateful. They've, they've changed it. So, my lovelies, today we are reacting to episode four. We are speeding through this season. How many episodes are there in this season? I Maybe think like just, six. I, I think is there six. Yeah, I feel like there's like six. six. Isn't there five? Oh, ten. 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 So this ten. Oh, well, we've been doing this for a while. Oh yeah, we're gonna. We've got another eight months of content. <laughs> One of the top comments on the last episode that we did in this, which was like a month ago now, Release really is... fabulous, sexy, and the best person ever. Well, you're not far away. Oh, <laughs> Felicia Top and Bottom has said. <laughs> I'm a celebrity, get me gout, killed me. I'm deceased. No. Nothing like Roly as a gorgeous No, woman nothing. No, how you. I was very excited. Slap. Yes. Team Rocket's blasting off again. So, my loves, make sure you get your beverages at the ready. Today, you're on the piss. Oh. <laughs> I've got a bucket of piss, sweetie. <laughs> and I'm on the rosa. Are we, am I, I feel like I'm a I feel like you're, yeah, I feel like you've gone too far. You've, you've gone, gone too far. It's Pete's PA. Oh. See, he called it Pete's PA. It is, Last yeah. week on Pete's PA. Oh, yeah. Pete it's was very loud. It is. Hello. Do you remember when they had Can that? Can you hear me? <laughs> da, 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 celebrity girls. Pete's first high heels. Pete's CG. Pete's gossip. I love Misty. Please never said that. No. I'm just so mischievous. I love Misty. I fucking love Misty. Yeah, he's probably more like, I'm going to stab you now. Yeah. Pete's PA! See, this is called Pete's PA, so why is it called Pete's yeah. confusing? It's morning in the house, and some of our potential PAs are still coming to terms well, with weird Debbie's angles. elimination. Like, well, okay. Just fully see her boobs there, she's yeah. like, breakfast and boobs. PAs are still coming to terms with Debbie's elimination. Breakfast and titany. It was a shame Debbie getting eliminated, it really was. It was you a know, shame. Debbie's a really, look, really lovely woman, Denise. and maybe her downfall was just being a bit too nice. Oh, it was I got close to Debbie. Stink in that room. Sort of, we shared a room. Um, and we spoke quite a lot. David. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's quite hard when she went. They're talking about it like she's died. Like she's died. They're just like, she used to be in the room with us. Now she's passed. Now on. she's she's gone. <laughs> a oh. dead body. It's week three in the house, and with that week days, three, <laughs> a business psychologist oh, here she is. Oh, here she is. to begin this week's task. As a PA, you, one of the skills you need is to be super organised, oh. and this is especially true of working with Pete. He's someone who, by his own admission, you know, never turns up. Because the every time <laughs> they play something, it's like this burst, like, why this did colour burst. Just go, oh. So you've really got to compensate Ooh. for him and organise his life for him as well as your own. So that sounds horrible. I could never be a PA. No. No. And an expert on time management, Catherine Nicholson. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who is she? We brought in this expert. Everyone's like, hello, yeah. Stretch Armstrong. Hello. Nice to see you all. Okay, as Rob said, if you want to be able to organise tea. She's got a you... cup of coffee okay, as Rob or said, tea. Want... This is so low budget. Look, yeah, look she... I can't remember her name. It's not. She's not the woman that's like blonde two. How dare you? Blonde, yeah, blonde number two. That's not the Daily Mail. The gay is love now. Good guy, get a grip, girl. I look really good today. Oh. <laughs> okay, as Rob said, if you want to be able to organise Pete, you Kathy. absolutely have to be able to organise yourselves. And one way of finding out how well organised you were on a personal level is by looking at your rooms and how you keep Where's them. Daily Mail? Oh. I was a bit anxious. Where is Daily Mail? The Daily Mail! I've basically got anxious when... Oh, uh, it's an unusual smile, isn't it? Sometimes my teeth <laughs> get stuck on my teeth. I said that wrong. <laughs> Sometimes my lips sometimes get stuck on my teeth. She looks like she's like really angry, but she she's does. trying to smack like, I love you. She's like, oh my dear. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, please, no. <laughs> 
how long can we make this joke go on for? The Daily Mail, the gays love me. Catherine said she was going to go for our bedrooms because I've basically got up this morning and everything Shed. was just thrown everywhere. My makeup was in the bathroom. If I was on a TV show, I feel like, yes, I can be messy, but I feel like I'm actually quite clean in general compared to most people. If I was on a TV show like this and I know what do you do? <laughs> Do you want me to take Dom in your bathroom? Yes, go for it, because it's actually oh. quite pleasant. I'm going to cream. I would make sure that I'm like immaculate. Yeah, exactly. Like you if I'm have to, if you? I'm gonna like be filmed 24-7, I'm gonna make sure that, that you can't say anything about me like that. Yeah. This woman is dirty. All of the candidates' luggage will be checked oh, through gorgeous. by organizational expert Catherine to see whose luggage is a mess. Imagine, and... how did you get to a job to being like, I'm an organizational expert? Oh, I feel like, mo like there's mo loads of shit from these old TV shows that you've had before. Like, what the hell does yeah, that mean? What, what's this? It was like that personality was... trainer yeah, or but something. Then we were like, what is that? See <laughs> whose luggage is completely organised, and I think that will give a very good view of. I must admit, also though, like when I stay in a hotel or something, you know, I'm not the most organised. Because yeah, you're, you're in a hotel, you're in a an environment that's not yours. So but you're not like... being filmed. Denise. It's true. I'm Gosh. also not being filthy. You can almost smell the oestrogen. Slap! You can it's almost smell the oestrogen. I love smelling the oestrogen. No. I just got my ear ringing. Oh, oh you oh, oh, tinnitus. Brain Jesus tumor. Happened. Brain yeah. tumor. Oh, dead, dead. She's gonna dead. Die. Call the police. Oh. oh, look. The Daily Mail. It's just horrible, isn't it? We're insufferable. I just noticed there's some, some grot on the floor here. Yeah. There's a grot. A label oh. here. I would never see like a label on the floor be like, look at all this grot, <laughs> this grot you've got on the floor, crushed into the carpet. Yeah, the, the Daily <laughs> Mail crashed into the carpet. <laughs> Mashed up and crashed in that. Don't look, it's my, my shame, my secret shame. <laughs> the Daily Mail, the gays love me. I just got the mascara all off my face. <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna make me laugh all in again. The bin <laughs> It's not that far. Wait, just imagine being. Like, <gasps> I don't no, like this like <laughs> shaming. This is a bit weird. Okay, so enough of the excuses. What are you going to do about this? Uh, Die. Probably empty my case in an orderly manner. Should we have a look at your two beds? That towel behind you. Please tell me it's dry. It should be dry. Um, and yes, it shouldn't be on my bed. But I will say, in my suitcase, everything is iron and laid out, and I've got tissue in between everything, so I... Oh, I get a job! <laughs> uh, SJ, tell me about your situation. Okay, well, that's my most um, precious item. So it's my daily mail. Laid out there, and then it's my coat on the floor. And then up there is At my daily, daily mail. <laughs> Down here is another daily are. mail. I think the, the most, most organised person, person is Denise. Denise, I think. And then perhaps... Denise Van Alten is the daily mail. Denise Van Alten. Denise Van Alten. <laughs> Next for inspection is Ian and Damon's. Denise Van Damon. <laughs> we just go home. <laughs> Room. Are the boys more organised than the girls? Why do the boys? Music? Why do they have such pretty, like blankets? Very obviously just boys treat yourself to a slow. Why don't you? <laughs> sort of a couple of items, underwear. They are yeah, clean. They are clean. Sort of so a pair of shorts turned inside out. That was, uh, they have been washed. It, they just hung on the, uh, I like the hang on though. They were on here. But... This is very Big Brother shaming the contestants because yeah. like, I cannot imagine if I was uh, someone who needed a PA in my life being like, so, do you have dirty underwear on your bed, you yeah. slap that? Oh. I would never, because it's just like, you're there to do a job of like organizing my life. By you organizing my life, I sort of would expect your life to be a bit chaotic because you're kind of devoting your life to someone else yes. for money. If someone's got enough time to put individual pieces of tissue paper, yeah, yeah, exactly, like, yeah. where are they taking that time from elsewhere? Yes, it is. Because that's so much better. <laughs> Whose suitcase is this? That's mine. It's packed because after dun, 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 dun. the first elimination... <laughs> wait, where wait, 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 wait! He's gay, isn't he? Is well, that, we don't know for sure. That's I mean, mine. we... It's packed. Why the f... <laughs> well, you have a Margaret Thatcher! Is that's it, not Margaret. It's is it Margaret, Margaret Thatcher! Whose suitcase is this? That is Margaret Thatcher! Oh, it's Margaret Thatcher, girls! But in the style of, um... Andy Warhol's uh, like, Marilyn Monroe pictures. Yeah. Do you, Andy Warhol would be like, yes, Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, we loved her. We hated she the loved gays. the Daily Mail. <laughs> hated the gays. Not a joke, just a fact. Where I was up for elimination, I didn't necessarily unpack again just because it's such a bitch to get it all back in again. Where are the rest of your clothes in? Um, I just wear bikinis. This is all your gear. So you've had this on already. Oh, your gear? Yeah. Oh, she's on steroids. Yeah, she is, yeah. <laughs> Try it before you wore it. 
Yes, I did. And now you're going to have to iron it again? Yeah. Is that a good use of your time? No, it's not. There's a hanger. Thank you. Watch. <laughs> Is this her job? Is this her job? For, they're like, can you... Eight million pounds a month. month. Yeah. So, because at home and everything, <laughs> I am quite organised, but e in the house, I was a little bit untidy. He looks just so bewildered about yeah. the entire... He's like, he's just some like lost schoolboy that's just wandered into What's this thing. Yeah, he's even What's that? Yeah. You don't know where I am. Is this the daily show? Is this the death of the gays love me? The prophecy is true. Are up for inspection. I can't Maria, wait can you to just see how people get angry. Bend down and pick something off the floor there. That I'm yeah, I saw. Completely guilty. I was reading a book only in a packet crisp this morning. But it was typical because I had just been on the bed eating a packet crisp and reading a book. I've just been on a bender. <laughs> I've been cooled down and didn't tidy up after myself. If the bin's putting a, like a single wrapper in the bin is not like tidying up after yourself in your own space. It's like, yeah, yeah I have a single wrapper. Put me in prison. Oh, go to, like, go to jail. Go to jail. Go to jail. Paul, what do we do? I'm I'm do it, it, do it, it, yeah. There's no excuse. I'm Shelley by your own admission. There's no excuse. no excuse. And I don't even think she knows how to either. Okay, I'm just going to have a look at this over here. Why she got wow. such a huge bit? Rob, I think you'll be impressed with this. Blimey, everything hung up, everything stacked below. Actually, just grab that bottle of water behind you. There's one here, there's Is one here. Then you drink too much water! Too much water! What are you gonna do with all that? Piss! There are some downsides to this room. The crisp yeah. packet, the water bottles. Being an organised... There yeah, are sorry. some downsides to this room. The crisp packet, the water bottle. Like, that. it's just, it's reaching to find anything to make the show about. It's just like, so like, this. Whole, I have yeah. no idea what to do. Yeah. On episode four, yeah. we just sort of did a crisp packet section. Yeah. What's the, what, like, where, where is the storyline of this show? Like, how is Pete Burns gonna be like, oh my God, she's going home. She had some roast chicken crisps for breakfast. A oh. person isn't about being anal. It's not about having every single anal. thing mm. exactly where it should mm -hmm. be. Yeah. Why, why is we... that Why is that even a phrase? Why is it like, I'm just really anal? I don't like, know, yeah, I, I just... Don't say that. What I like about this room is it's a ready-to-go room. A ready-to-go like room. Come in, oh, you know it's where like your bag is. It's, it's very daytime, daytime, tweed, daytime. <laughs> I forgot my own quote. <laughs> oh, dear. Daytime, daytime, tweed. Daytime. The things that you yeah. need are where you need to have them, and I think that's a great thing. The so you bitched and moaned and moaned about how it was a bad side, and they're going, it's actually a really great it's, room. It's ready to go, but the things that you need are where they need to be. Yeah. Where they go. Yeah. Where they need to yeah. be. My name is Natalie. Was it Natalie? Catherine. Catherine, and I'm an expert. And I'm an <laughs> where you need to have them. And I think that's a great thing. It's really great. I am glad that we got the better room because the other two were disastrous. And so oh, yeah. <laughs> if they just said mine was worse, I'd have been mortified. We got points back for having a lovely tidy wardrobe and just generally not points. being too as messy as the boys, actually. Points. <laughs> She was like, one gold star! One stone a month! That's what a PA's job is. They've got to control their own time and Pete's time. They haven't got time to re the shirt. They haven't got time to pick up a piece of paper that should have been in the bin in the first place. And so all those small things, if they're not picking up on the small aspects of their time management, the ramifications could be huge. Someone might die because of a crisp bucket. The ramifications might be huge! Like, get she a is grip. justifying her it, job yeah. title there, isn't get she? Get like, a grip. If I hadn't have told her about those three water bottles, cancer. <gasps> it feels like it feels like um that, that army man that was in oh, like, yeah. that mirror. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. And he was like, do this! No, no, go out to sea and drown for the chance to kiss us! Lovely woman. Ooh, no, no, no. They didn't kiss me. The secret's the, out! Yeah, <laughs> this beautiful woman beside me. The PA's dirty laundry. Well my dad thinks you're a woman, mm -hmm. so. This is a true story. Other candidates manage time when working in teams. Okay, to be a perfect PA for Pete, it's really essential that you can think on She's your... still standing She's still... like, I'm in the Daily I'm Mail, in the, the gays love, love me. Yeah. Okay, to be a perfect PA for Pete, it's really essential that you can think on your feet. Think. When the pressure's on, you can apply yourself in a practical sense and also be very creative. In She's making you're... it sound like... It's like a challenge on doom. Yeah, yeah. She's like, if the ramifications are huge, if you do not manage your time immediately, die. The Doom Slayer. 
Satan will come to the earth because you didn't pick up your Chris packet. Challenges that will be thrown at you. Cheers, okay. Cheers to that, Samuel to Hayden. Two oh. teams. So can I ask SJ, Rhea, Damon and Denise, can you come over here, please? You are going to be a team. Oh, oh, which leaves yeah. Shelley, no, group Daily Ian, mm. Natalie and Nikki, if you can yep. come here. They're doing a group. Hey ho, let's okay. read the Daily Mail. Yeah. The group I've got for the challenge. Why are you sitting like this? Why are we interviewing you in like the cupboard under Ooh, the stairs? He's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a <laughs> Harry Potter joke, but can't do oh, that. Oh no, can don't I? do that no. now, <laughs> Tess. It'll be interesting to see how Nikki works with us because I think we're slightly more passive members of the household. I would, what, what was that? Why was that? What? Who? Who in the editing room was like? This is the scene. Yeah. PA shouldn't be passive. No, like, they should be quite. We're more passive. Active, we just, yeah. dominant women. No, you need to be like, I will do this for you. And we're going now. The car is ready. The Daily Mail. I don't think it's very funny. The Daily Mail is a very respectable publication. Publication's a strong word for the Daily Mail. Saturday today, only for the fact that I know that she's very, very <laughs> <and remarkable. laughs> it's funny. <laughs> That's a bit like being, you know, thrown to the lion's den, I felt a little bit. But you know what? The lion's it's den. Fine. PPA. Time management Hello. expert Catherine Nicholson has split the group into oh, two teams. Oh, that curtain's teams. got a ruffle. The ramifications are huge. The by Ian. Okay, welcome to the box. How are you feeling? Welcome Good. to the box. Are you raring? What's happening? I have no idea. They haven't did, we, did, did she even explain? I don't know. She what sort of said... We're picking tea. We're gonna die. In this box is die the Daily Mail. Oh my God. To go. Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you about the box. In this exercise, the teams are really up against. They'll be pushing Daily the Mails box. into the carpet. <laughs> Possibly do. Show. I'm looking for a practical approach. I'm looking for quick thinking. Okay, I don't Festival know what they're doing. Thirty minutes starts now. <laughs> Also, how they. What a horrible klaxon! Sorry, we have to listen to this section again because I have no idea what's going on. Are you raring to go? Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you about the box. In this exercise, the teams are really up against time. They've got far more tasks to achieve than they could possibly do. I'm looking for a practical approach. I'm looking for quick thinking. So it's okay, best tasks, of luck. Your 30 minutes starts now. What? Also, how they think clearly under pressure. That's something that a PA really needs to be able to do. I still don't know what they're no, doing. I think it's the box, everyone. Spread it out. The task was we had a box, and inside the box was a whole series of instructions. Various tasks, kind of intelligent, um, practical, Ooh. organisational, and you had to do them by a certain, you know, kind of prioritise them. Nominate a team for. That's the chair that Pete Burns sits in. Is in it? The, in the, oh, in they the... stole it. Yeah, this. This is the oh, chair yeah. that Pete sits in oh. at judging. So they they're sniff like, it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just like the man. Just like they're disgusting. Oh, with oh, Andrew Tate, that guy who was like, I'm going to sniff the chair. Andrew and Tate like, Tussie. Are they like. Andrew Tate Tussie? <laughs> oh, don't know. <laughs> Not Tatusi. Nominate a team vocalist. I did yeah. the girl once. You must sing. Girl. You spin me round oh, from start to finish in an opera singer style. In a, in a style of rap. Rap. Yeah. 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 What is? I need the word. SJ's got to do a rap. The Daily Mail. The gays love me up. <laughs> <laughs> no God. No God. Please no. You must sing. You spin me round from start to finish in an opera singer style. In an opera style, and they've got to do it in a rap. Rap, rap yeah. Oh, yeah. this is gonna be crazy. I need the word for you spin around. I need the tune so I can definitely blag it. <laughs> What's this got to do with being gay? You look like you're lots of fun. I got to be your friend now, baby. Shelley sounded really good, to be fair. No. <laughs> but what does Ian know? Oh, Ian doesn't apparently know anything. Hot, to be honest. <laughs> the search for his dead. Oh. <laughs> 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 and they were never seen again. No, no, and that was the end of the show. They just cancelled it there. <laughs> They're just singing. That's not rapping. I'm sorry. This is the most they had, they, show. This, they, they, they had no idea. I know we said a lot, but they had no f idea had what they no were doing. Idea, no. it was just How that. this went on for six more episodes, and I don't know. So today, we're going to do singing. Yeah. No. You yeah. spin me no. daily, mail the guys. Cringe. Damon was the strongest for the box. Chair. The strongest link from the last yeah, round was Damon. Shaka Khan. Difficult things to do, I think. Yeah. Pete wants something wacky and original to wear to a celeb bash tonight. Customised t-shirt for. Don't say bash. Don't say celeb bash. Oh, that's my two thousand. Celeb bash. Did we ever go to any celeb bash? Have we been to a celeb bash? Have we been to any bashes? What is a What's bash? What's a bash? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I've got all squeaky. <laughs> and this bitch like like a big like a party like yeah like celebs go and have a bash. They bash into each other. Yeah, what I was gonna say, like, electrons at a party. Yes, yeah, so the hadron collider. <laughs> We made a joke about the, the Hadron Collider and something. Do you remember this? Yeah, it looked up again. Ages ago, and it also involved the Daily Mail. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that. Damon stood out big Stay time. Me. He threw himself into the Just hole. Just like a scarecrow. Oh. He was outstanding in his field. Pressured at all. In fact, he thrived on it. He honestly enjoyed that, joke. that pressure that was on him. Set this gender me. It's mummy or nothing. You'll need oh, that. So I'll have to wait for a Do you have an appointment? I do, yes, <laughs> I do, yeah, with the Daily Mail. <laughs> okay, Team two, no question, it was Nikki. Very much in control, quite bossy, articulate, enthusiastic. Answer the questions on the closed quiz. Bossy and articulate. Nikki was pushy, but she wants results. She wants to win. Okay. Remember, guys, you've got to stay quiet for three minutes at 20 Shut minutes. Shut up! I think it's too many shoes. Shut up! Nikki is quite overpowering. Thank um, you. <laughs> she did sort of take over. Okay, okay. this is a timed what quiz. So you've got one minute to answer as many questions about Peter. This is so pointless. Cringe! This is the most. This is a pub quiz now. This is the most pointless thing I've ever seen in a show. Like, us. It's just, there's no budget. No there budget, is, no storyline, no, there doesn't seem to be any this, producers. This, this feels like, this feels like the things you go through when you're going into Big Brother. Yes, This yeah. is like the team bullying Inter challenges yeah. that they make you do to see what you're like in, yes. to go on Big Brother. The to audition do, stage. Yes, to do this as the actual show is just like, Terrible. I Maybe Channel Four were like, "We want to find new housemates, so we're going to do this first." Yeah, and do you. this show, Living TV. I wonder what their actual like criteria of getting on the show was. I'd love to interview someone. Yeah. I'd oh my love god. Love to interview someone if we could do a joint interview. Yeah. And be like, so, so did you read the Daily did, Mail? Yeah. Did you read the Daily Mail and do the games? Love, love you. Them. No. Cat. First question: What was Pete's first job? Uh, hairdresser. Hairdresser. What's the name of the drummer in Dead or Alive? Ah, Steve Cox. Is it Steve Coy? Steve Coy. Well, he was. What position did Pete achieve on Celebrity Big Brother? Oh, uh, second. No. Uh, fifth. Well done. Third. Now complete the quote made by Pete. In 1989, I went on a long journey and found. God. Jesus, <laughs> it was seen. Jesus, it was seen. Where, Rachel? Oh my God. Show me to me, please. Which one is it on TikTok? Myself. What is the nationality of Pete's mother? German. A German, German, German. What year did you spin me reach number one? Oh, uh, 82, oh. 83, 84. It was released in 84, but we reached number one in 85. Oh, we know this. Oh. Challenge. Oh yes, Obviously, can you juggle? juggle? Well good, you'll be good PA because you'll yes. juggle. Yeah. Juggle it, bitch. ...and your creativity and all that. But for me, it just conjured up images of Blue Peter and Sticky Back Plaster. Here's one of those, there you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. crack pipe. Slight concerns about Natalie. She started off, I wouldn't say negative, but quite sad. I don't know if she can handle being a PA. She couldn't she, juggle. No. <laughs> It's exactly that. She it's, like, I just think she's being very negative. It's like, you literally have them being like, Yeah, it's been my riding, let it match the colour with the lady. Like, what are you doing? Also, I still couldn't get over the fact that they thought that was rapping. Confidence come from her and more positivity. Still Martin, man, two brains. Oh, very really. Oh. Uh, I don't think I did very well. Body build, <laughs> body, body, body oil. Self. I didn't, didn't show any of my capabilities or skills. At my skills in juggling and yeah. singing opera. Take a bit of a, you know, back seat. Cause I, I couldn't make kind of a rose out of paper. Twice. I can't be a bee. The swan girls. Are you doing a present for Lily? Oh, there's some glitter. But I think what happened is we quite naturally slipped into our own areas. I'm really creative, so I was kind of off making random objects out of bits of crepe paper. But why? It's, but it's, it's, it's making objects out of crepe paper. It's so it to become a PA. Okay, I'd like to see some of the designs that you've created, please. It's actually dual purpose. You can wear it as fabulous choker, or you Choker! Lady Di styling. Oh, that's and very good, then... <laughs> No, it's not good. I remember saying, oh yeah, they're really good. It feels good. like they're in like, like craft <laughs> class in a reception. Like it's, it's... bloody awful. <laughs> Try to be creative, but um, the quality was quite poor. I mean, the owl, I just stuck like a ball on a piece of paper with two feathers hanging on. What's, what is it? What is it to Michael Love P? Does Catherine think about Damon's approach? 
they stood out because of a the quality cloth. that they brought to the tasks that they did. They put a lot of effort and thought into them. They thought about the outcome of what they were achieving and they thought about how Pete might respond. They a really put cloth. themselves in. Okay, that's actually not bad, like a custom art piece, but the idea of handing Pete Burns, handing his husband whatever, that. Here you go. Here's a cheap t shirt I just made. You don't International know. International. You don't celebrity. know anything about Pete Burns. You don't if know. You think yeah. he's going to get this like terrible. Because this isn't about like us thinking things are shit or whatever. Like we're talking about Pete Burns. Pete Burns, if you go out to him and give him like a, a Primark t shirt with like some scribbles on it, he'd be like, what you do? You will be executed. Yeah, like, get away from me. <laughs> Damon's enthusiasm and attention to detail has tipped the balance in their favour. It's now up to Ian to lift his team in the second part of the challenge. Welcome to the drain pipe challenge. At the bottom the of that what? drain pipe, there are three... Now what's happened? The drain pipe! Spin around the maypole, but it's a drain pipe. The drain pipe challenge. Yeah, that's very YouTube, isn't it? It is, it is 2009. I've been asked to do the rubber band challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I will murder your family. The more ping pong balls you retrieve within that 15 minutes, and by retrieving Don't say into ping your pong. Hands, the more points that you will score. The this teams have so to retrieve stupid. these balls using two pieces of guttering, four sticks, and a bucket and a half of water. How was this taken seriously? And they must remain outside the boundary. The boundary? This is really about problem solving. Again, oh, she's at a seance. Situation. I've actually done this task with children, so it's very doable. Okay, so Th one of these. That says it all. That says it all. Retrieve ping pong ball. There's holes in the pipe. Oh, that's a pisser, isn't it? But it's all right. We're not losing too much. No. Like, put the sticks in the pipe. Oh, oh, oh the sticks. Oh, the good thing. Oh, oh, big oh, enough. Oh, the sticks in the, the pipe. pipe yeah. SJ really came into her own. She had some great ideas. She was extremely MS creative. Stuff. She came up with some ideas that I've never seen anybody do in that challenge. I had a slight mental advantage that I just managed to find a trick with the two wigs. Because I read the Daily Mail. Yeah, she finds the Daily Mail. There is one lower down. The craft section. We're going to have to make a... Does this something... Ian really... Sean, extremely enthusiastic. He had some great ideas. I thought, actually, I'm the man. What is this framing? It's very strange. I mean, I know that they put their, like, name there, but, like, just zoom out slightly and yeah. have, like, the face with the name underneath. Weird. Hey. This whole show is filled with, like, it's like we're watching a pilot for something. Like, yes. they're like, you've got no money, but make it work. This whole show was, in fact, a, a, a DIY challenge on yes, a bigger it was. show. Yeah, here's what I made earlier. <laughs> this is a physical sort of thing. I need to push forward. Oh. I'm so happy <laughs> pushing water in pipes. Yeah, he's like, oh, this reminds me of a golden shower days. Oh, Ian. Water kept like, going down into his face, and then all of a sudden it started pouring back out, and he couldn't understand why it was coming back out the other side, but he hadn't, oh, God, it was disaster. Oh, that was all over me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wet teacher contest. Very good as a team. We, we had it You'd love that now, wouldn't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> even though I thought, went, went through a bucket. Oh, oh dead, dead! dead. Oh, oh, see ya, he got very angry. I was gonna say that, it looked like it actually quite hurt. Like, yeah. That's it, that's it. You got them? Yeah, one more, one more, one more, one more. Keep going, keep pushing. Oh. Yes! Oh. oh, well. This feels a bit like the what crystal maze. What is this? It feels a bit like the crystal maze. Are you sure? It's more like the crystal mess. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I the daily mail. <laughs> <laughs> you really well holding that. Though, Good, everyone worked really well, even though. This, I, I, I don't have words. I'm like so confused. How is this how, relevant in any way, shape, or form? How, how has this been the major challenge in this show, this episode? Imagine if I was up here, but so today, guys, I'm going to an event and I need you to pour this water inside this tube. I'm going to cream. And then you'll be sacked. I just feel that I was getting heavy. Ian got a bit wet as well. I'm doing it, so it was really good. Now it's up to me to decide who I feel have been the, the strongest characters today. Who I think will be and America's next top purely from pipe. an organisation and time management perspective because that America's was my role America's next top today. drainage. And the one that stood out for me from Team 1 is you, Damien. Oh! Okay, so. Damien? Yeah. That's not his name! For me from Team 1 is you, Damien. Okay. Well done. Yeah. She's Damien. She yeah. says Damien. That's not his name. No. And they couldn't reshoot that area because they don't have any money. No. Team one. It's Margaret you, Thatcher. Okay. Well done. Yeah. He's like, me? me? I'm not Damien, you silly old brat. It was you, Ian. Well done. Yay! Oh, the men won. Oh, she's just a yeah, she's misogynistic like, she's pig. Like, Naughty mummy. Are they going to kiss now? Yeah. Have sex. No. Confident with doing sort of everything at the moment I'm feeling more and more confident get, which is good. I get the feeling they're probably seeing us seeing us more as competition yeah. than just fodder. Fodder? This show is so unhinged. PA. Each trusty advisors, Rob and Donna, have gathered the PAs together to brief them on this week's time management task. 
Robin Give me that one, man. Fucking challenge, down. And it was to go and get a, a series of items for Pete Burns that you he needed be that quiet. evening. You'll need to collect two monogrammed bathrobes for Pete and Michael, 50 orange roses, vanilla scented candles, something red for Michael because it's their anniversary. Something red. And some special foundation for Pete. Oh. Special Ooh, foundation. Yeah. Pete will know the makeup he wants to wear. Yeah. Can you imagine them going into, I don't know, Claire's and being like, pink. Like, this is <laughs> not. Yeah, yeah, I'd like pink foundation. Pete, that. Yeah. Like, she is loving every second of television attention. What was she called? Donna Kabat. <laughs> And only 150 pounds to do it with. 150 me and pounds. Damon, the, the team leaders. Damon. And we were quite happy at that. We were thinking the two blokes sort of. Blokes. The two blokes doing yeah. all that, yeah. being all sort of like 150. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll go to the red light district as yeah, well. Read the Get Daily Mail. Sucked off. <laughs> <laughs> you want for your team? You're going to pick who you don't want for your team. Oh, interesting. So Ian, like That's actually through. quite yeah. interesting. I will choose. Sorry, Nikki. My first choice will be SJ. What a surprise! Sorry, a little bit disappointed with Ian. Um, I did question him after why he said that, and he just said, oh, I haven't worked with you before, so I don't know what you're like. I don't particularly get on with Shelley, really. I, in, we, uh, I don't know, there's something there that we just yeah, don't work uh, together, to be honest. Uh, no, Rhea. Natalie. This is just to drama. drama. Yeah. Just drama. Because like nothing's going on. I think they kind of both learned both leaders saw me as quite an organised person. That okay, makes it really scary. Scary. <laughs> But as it happens, right. it didn't work Musical out. Musical so chairs well time. <laughs> because the twist was the people they didn't want were the people they got. Uh, Challenge. And the, what a great way to spill drama for yeah, no reason at yeah. all. I wish Drag Race did something like this. Could you imagine? Hate. You ugly bitch. Oh, uh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Yeah, 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 the Daily Mail. <laughs> and Shelley. Shelley. I should have seen it coming, but I didn't. The winning team will be decided by Pete himself. Shelley. Her full name is Not only C on the Shelley. time that you achieve, but also on the quality of the items that you bring back. I think the twist in Sally Sally shells, the twist is. Sally Shells, the Shells, on the sea. Shelley. <laughs> but Ian didn't want them on his team anyway. And uh, he did have to explain oh, why. She, now, she always has the most interesting hair as well. Yeah. Like, how do you even begin to style this hairstyle? You fall over and you, you roll, roll over. Roll, roll around <laughs> a little bit on the floor. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And down. I'm actually reenacting <laughs> Magic Up. Totally pathetic, unreliable. Going out, I get in a precise list of items on a very limited budget. This makes more sense. Yeah, time this span. makes more sense. This should have been the main challenge. Yeah. The best possible quality because I could be a really fussy bitch, and I think this is a really tough challenge for them. The teams need to acquire two... Although, they've already done this challenge. The they're just finding different things now. The last one was clothes. It's, it's the it's same the, thing. Yeah. It's the same challenge. But, right. I mean, what else if can PAs do? They literally go out and get things, or schedule your diary. Like, what else does a PA I, do? Yeah, what I else does a PA do apart oh, from that? Oh, no, they rummage around in dumpsters. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of they dumpster that. dive. Yeah. And then you've got to juggle. Yeah. You just have to juggle. Vanilla scented candles, something red for Michael, and a foundation makeup for Pete. Okay, so the you needed to specify makeup, otherwise people will think that Pete's building a house. Yeah. yeah. Just picking it up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that is the first one. That is all. So I go to the Pete plaster Paris. Yeah. Um, you know, they are just gonna have to listen. Hey, to Yana. Me, Do you want me to be in charge of the phone, someone? Can you blag? Yeah. On the phone? I'll blag on the phone. I wonder if they're going to use no. the internet. She's actually gonna go on Babe Station. She is. Yeah. They check the pen here. <gasps> What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What's that? Damon. What was that all about? What was she doing? What was that all about? What was she doing? I've got a structure. You know what we're doing. Yeah. Let's go. How is Ian gonna possibly ever find makeup for Pete Burns? He's a secret quasi. Yeah. Wait, shall I make a call to the Pink Floyd? Yeah, oh, no. yeah. yeah. phony, phony, phony. I'm looking for 50 orange roses and I just wanted to see how much they would be. 50. Do roses come in orange? Yes! I guess, I guess they might. I don't know. I don't really know a lot about roses. I know they come in like red and red, yellow and red, pink. Red, white. White. Yes. If you're going to buy 50, was it 50 roses? Yeah. That's well over 150 quid already. Yeah, that's not well over If you've got 150 quid, we'll give you a tenner. 350 per step. Shelley was making phone calls. Yeah, uh, that's normal. Trying to organise flowers, but couldn't get all the 50 roses in one place. Is there any way you could slightly make that a little bit cheaper, please? Cheap. We've, only, we've got a certain budget. 
so I'd nick you in my ear like That's it. not what the language you would use no, as a PA. No. You wouldn't be like, can you make it cheaper? We've got a budget. I'd be like, immediately hang up. Excuse me, I will not have that. Thank you very much. Goodbye. No, because if you if you've got you'd a say, you'd say it's for Pete it's Burns. It's for Pete Burns. For this event, you'll get free publication or press on this, 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 and this. We're looking to spend this much money. Can you do something but like also, that? But also, I don't know, someone said to me, it's, it's obviously Pete's dead, but I say someone said to me like it's Pete Burns. I'd be like, well, you've got the money then. Yeah, pay for it. Like shouting in my end. To be honest, like it was good because she was giving me pointers, but I couldn't hear the, the other people on the other side of the phone, which was really, really sort of getting on my nerves a little bit. You know, just anything that you can do just to make it look extra special because it's a unique, unique opportunity, opportunity for, you. for yourselves. Having called the majority of florists in West London, Shelley has sourced the 50 orange roses from three different shops. However, it seems that Damon's team are closing a deal with one call in one store. We'll just have the, well, the 50 flowers, uh, the 50 roses at, was it £1.50? That's brilliant. I was able to... 50 times £1.50? You're going to get them like daisies. <laughs> that's like, se how much, that's like 75 quid, isn't it? She's got a degree. So that's half the budget gone just on roses. Yeah. They need to get something red, makeup, makeup. Something borrowed, something blue. blue. The Daily Mail. These gays, they're trying to murder me. Like foundation itself is like 30 quid. Yeah. So, unless they're going like Claire's. Yeah. One day in a month. Um, pick myself up from yesterday and actually shine through I a bit more today. I picked myself up from the ground. Right, yeah, we need to get to Tottenham Court yes. Road because that's where we're going for the candles and there's quite a lot of other oh, stuff Oh, candles and they've well. got bathrobes but as well. Because yeah. knows London better than I do, I'm going to pass over to her. I'm not going to go try and direct around London when there's somebody in the front who actually lives in London. It's a very, very straight run from King's Cross down the Euston Road down to Tottenham Court Road. Oh, right. Okay. She knows her way around the gay district. Right. No, he doesn't. Is that going across there? No, you can't. You can't. I don't no. know. No. I really know London. Of course, I'm going to explain it to you, but trust me. OK, we'll give you a call back then. Wait, what did you just say? No. No, you can't. You can't. I don't know. I really know London. Of course, I'm going to explain it to you, but trust me. OK, we'll give you a call back then, and if you can reserve them. What does that even what mean? Does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? We're doing a challenge, but I'm not going to actually no. tell you what to... No. no, just trust mummy. Naughty mummy. That. For some reason, they really wanted to get Natalie's cleavage in there. And also, they were like, she, well, like, she knows that she's about to so die, so I'm so tired. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Nicky will be speaking. It's I'm Nicky Minaj. Lawrence. Okay, one of my colleagues, um, Nikki, will be coming in to speak to him. She's organising the event. Okay, thanks for your help. Thank you, bye. I would be so irate if someone was like, and she's doing this, and she's doing that. Were well, you pissing, doctor? You know, being centre of attention, I don't know what the reason for that is. You would be able to sell a lot more from this programme, and it's pitching. It is a fault of mine. Yes. <laughs> she least she knows. If I think I can do the job better, I just want to get on and do it. And it's not only. I do feel like she's probably actually. I'm all in there. I feel like she's probably one of the best ones to be a PA. Agree. Something deliciously red. Really vamp it. Deliciously up. red from the team, Daily Mail. You have to make team decisions. But I'm so not going to tell you where in London the best to go. No, because no, because that's enemy. Well, on behalf of Pete Burns. Oh, Whilst there we go. The girls navigate no. the one-way streets of Soho. Ian Bell's. Look at his little gay bag. Oh. How'd you do? How'd you do? Peter? Oh, that's Peter. However, a deliberate mistake has gone unnoticed. Peter. It's got Peter on it, and it should have Pete on it. And they were supposed to check that. So... The fact that yeah. she said Peter as well, like, I... I'm I'd be like... I would, Peter, I've never heard of Pete being referred to as Peter. Peter Burns. Yeah. Yeah, and Peter Burns. Peter Burns. Yeah. That doesn't have any near, like, the same magnitude, no. does it? They might be in trouble when they get back to centre. Oh. <laughs> Executed. Yeah. It's 50 minutes into the task, Electric and jam. with the buff robes collected, Nikki's persistence may have paid off. One of the things that was on the list was a present that had to be read and it was going to be for Michael from Pete. My immediate thought was, right, let's get on the phone, let's get in touch with Vivian Westwood's store and um, for see if we can get some quid. Good quality. Vivian never, Westwood. Never, never. But also, like, it feels weird to me to buy a gift for someone else to give to someone else. Yeah. It's yeah. not like it's just like, oh, a friend, I'm like, because sometimes, like, if you've got a PA and you're busy, like, there's someone you kind of know and you go to a party, like, can you just yeah. get her something good? Can you just make like, sure, yeah. Your husband. Yeah, weird. We, at this point in the, the watch pair thing, I think we can all agree that, like, this show isn't really about finding a PA. No, it's just about, let's just film random stuff. It's about, yeah, let's just see if there's a show out of yes, all these yes, people yes. together. Let's go for the Westwood item, that's now. really good. Yeah, Westwood next. No, Nikki started getting a bit more forceful and I was oh. getting a bit more stressed because I was a team leader. Yeah, she pegged me. You know, they were listening to me at the start. Oh, she pegged him. 
We're going straight to... Oh, we're going Damon's straight. Street, okay? But it's not only Ian with problems. Habitat. Damon and his team are heading for... Pete Burns loved Habitat. Yeah. The scented candles. I mean, I think we should get two, whatever. Yeah, it's always okay. symmetrical. Um, because I thought they were getting usual, like... It's like so everybody has them. Can, can I just, can I just say one thing? I think Pete will say that looks like um, a Madeira cake mix-up. Well, I, I don't think... agree. A Madeira cake mix-up. I don't mix agree. Two, two is a pair. Well, I don't agree. I need to say that more often in my life. Bitchy. They're, they're starting Did to say, you? I don't agree, and there's a little bit of a hint of spite behind it. So spite? I think especially SJ and Denise, two very strong characters. Mm. Fist, they started they're fisting they're like, in oh, Habitat. I can't always think, you know, my decision's right, and that's a learning curve. I'm just looking at as if we pick some of the flowers, it's not going to count as anything, so no. we need to get the whole lot. I'd say the hairiest moments were just, you know, just voices being raised and close The hairiest moments. Anyone got my info, Oh, they're outside that shop, my cat. Oh, yeah, yeah, Liberty. Obviously, it's going to get a bit tetchy. We haven't got time tetchy. to begin our changing things, so it's just westward next. Right, let's see if they're going to ever find anything in there for less than, what, like 50 quid? 15 stones a month. Item, something red for Michael. A constant interference seems to be dividing the group. Dividing. Ian, who should be leading this team today, we've got a structure, no, we've got the, we should stick to the it. The thing is, the thing is, you can't do more than what I'm doing. I've set the team structure. That's all we need to do. Oh. It's one hour and Hello. ten minutes into the task, and Damon's now collecting their second item, the Pete? monogrammed bathrobes. Yeah. <laughs> right, thank Take you very much. Bye. They didn't notice either. But it seems Damon has missed the deliberate spelling mistake too. Hello. Hello. Would you like to buy tax cards? Says, there's no way we can get any garments or anything like that. The best we can oh, do is get some unisex aftershave, which is normally about 60 quid, for £25. With I the mean... London traffic building, Damon's team have resorted to walking, map reading and communication that's slowing them down. They're lost because they're the at No. Team Ian are the Daily on a roll, as Nikki and Natalie have chosen their second item. I mean, they've got it in a red this bag. A, that's uh, cute. Mm. Thinking, Unisec, I have to show you, it's a red buffle. I'm a shopaholic and anything to do with shopping, food. It's like she's been filmed at 6am and she's it been is, up all and she's night. she's up and up all night. Like, oh. Trying to keep an eye on expenditure, Dan's team have vintage in their quest for Michael's <laughs> red surprise. I'm liking that a lot, guys, and, it, and it's fifteen pounds. With an hour and a half Run. remaining, Nikki and Shelley arrive. Nothing at the first says anniversary gift of a celebrity to their husband like fifteen quid. Yeah, that'll do. yeah. Eight people died in it. Yeah. Death. Three florists to collect seventeen of the fifty orange roses. But what are Donna's views at this stage of the game? They're doing seven. Well, Natalie's definitely bottom PA because I don't think she's even interested. She's forgotten what she's here for anyway. She's just come for a day out. Um, top PA, I guess Nikki's being assertive, but she's also been <laughs> irritatingly put out. She's even. Aim. Well, Natalie's definitely Natalie. bottom PA because I don't think she's even interested. She's forgotten what she's here for anyway. She's just come for a day out. That is. Um, top there's PA, like spying yeah, that being sentence. There's like, I don't like that yeah. girl. It's not like she's not being a good contestant. Yeah. She's like, her family should die. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But also, what I was thinking about, the fact that they're going to go to three different shops, does that mean the roses are all going to look different? I don't care. Irritatingly pushy and over the top, trying to push her way forward. I, I don't know, I think my money's on Ian at the moment. Uh -huh. Kind of quiet, calm, trying to keep it together. Uh -huh. At the moment. Uh -huh. Maybe, I'm not sure. With Mate. three Diesel. items now bagged, Team Damon arrive at one of London's got premier lots of cosmetic of stores like jiggling for a yeah. appointment. We spoke to your manager and she said that she's already agreed with you that we could have 30% off today. When Shelley and Nikki... I wonder what makeup shop that was in. They look like Shure Mirror. Mm. In search of Pete's makeup. Oh, where is Natalie? Natalie's just on a runner, just down the road. She, um, just to check a shop. I knew exactly how important the makeup would be to Pete. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, she's what? Like, if you purchase something, maybe it'll have been a good What did she say? She said, I know how I know how. shop. I knew exactly how important the makeup would be to Pete. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, she's like, If she's something, maybe it'll have been a good yeah. Oh, I just caught myself a fabric here. Yeah. Really, yeah. Anything, I really, really kiss their ass. I tried my absolute hardest. They can't verge on any cosmetics. But of course, it's a yeah. shop. Yeah. Like, yeah. Can you imagine what you expect? I think he was like boots and being like, I, I don't think actually, maybe no. I'm going to get this. This one. is for Beyonce. Yeah. But you'd be like, well, you're just some random woman screaming at me frantically. I love my perfection. <laughs> yeah, it's very that, very that. I love my perfection. <laughs> like, get a grip. Well done, it, was, it, was, it was a risky thing. It's okay. You'll be killed later. Yeah, maybe they'll just steal it. Oh, I just checked to see if you were ready, so I thought, well, she's wrapping the mail. Okay. 
Attention. They're all going to fight! There they are! Ian's team have picked up the monogrammed bathrobes, 17 orange rose stems, and something red for Michael. Right. With the clock ticking, the remaining 33 roses need to I collecting. like roses. Why do you ever buy me roses? We've got an hour left now. Why do you think? Why? Because I'm wonderful. But why? Because I want them. Why do you ever buy me? Because <laughs> I, I don't okay. like you. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the truth comes because out, Because you girl. read the Daily Mail. I do. Oh, this is awkward. Um, we've managed to get all the flowers. We haven't got any candles. It's Pete's dinner party. What's a dinner party without candles? Okay, home driver. Denise is Were we up. ever told at any point that this is for a dinner party? No, I don't think we were. I'm not sure. No. Where are they going to have this dinner? What, just at home? In the garden. I bought you this 15 They're going to dance, dance around, dance around, dance around. We're the having yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the drain pipe. Dragon skills means Damon's team only need to visit one florist. Right. They now have one. all five items and are feeling. What? Why is he pulling up a shirt? Why did you just get socks on? <laughs> the florist really oh, knew what he was doing. Yeah, she did, didn't she? The slap. Oh With only ten minutes remaining before the three hours are up, Nikki strikes gold in a supermarket. Oh. With what? I've got candles too. Candles. Oh, yeah. Imagine it. Tesco candles. Yeah. Thank you. Nice one. So team Ian head home, but with only four out of the five items. I want to know what the piece is about the, decision, the uh, name wrong gal. The makeup. They didn't get makeup. <gasps> Barefaced. Only one will make it to the pageant, girls. Pete's gonna be like, you all burnt. Yeah, burn alive. You burnt Death. most. Really good team effort, even mm. despite the fact that Damon didn't want any of us. I know he's got such bad taste in women. I know he really has. Well, I have. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, We've actually done all right. And uh, we're going to be home in time. We're going to be home in time as well, so... Uh, yeah. With five minutes to spare, Ian's team arrive home. What do you think about you live next door to this house? There's houses that were next door to that. What's going on there with it? It's all the dream pipes. No, they're all fun. Now they're cool in the garden. Yeah, cool the council. You know, they were said, ah, and they've got a time limit. What would happen if they didn't make it back at the time? They'd just be like, well, we killed them. Electric chair. It was a car bomb. Yeah, all of you. It's a car Of their gifts. Okay, roll it oh, all up and let me see what you got. This was the first I just item we actually got for you, food. which was the gown. It's so much money. Uh -oh. <laughs> Dead oh, butterfly. It looks like Crayola. No one ever calls me Peter. <gasps> I know. It's always Pete. Gang. There's some other things that you couldn't really. possibly get embroidered on a dressing gown that start with see you next Tuesday. We managed to get the 50 roses. Okay. Uh, yeah, we I got, mean, well done. One down from three pounds. Why? I'm like, what? What is happening? Is he, yeah, is what he, is this? Is he in a fucking k hole? Like, yeah. Why is that? Oh, did you get the roses? Can you imagine? Like, they're watching Big Brother and they're like, uh, yeah, they're just Denise, doing this. Denise with was like, uh, D Davina was like, and Davina was like on the stage going, so. Yeah, can you not swear I'm coming to get you? Yeah, hello. Um, yeah, it's Matilda, very you've been evicted. Like, yeah. And then, like, they're doing the interview, and she's there with, like, Rylan. Blah. Yeah, so how did you feel about the, the task? Like, what? Sit up! It's what are you doing? It's very strange, isn't it? Sorry, yeah, that's not 50. How is There's that? There's no way. How is that 50? That is, a, that is not 50. Roses. Okay. Um, yeah, we I got, mean, well we done. Got one down from three. That is not 50. 50. A stem to 195. <laughs> Don't tell them how much money. Meanwhile, the mood has darkened with Damon's team as they realise they are stuck in traffic. They oh. realise that they are stuck it's in the Daily Mail. Mail. Yes. Absolutely. I find it funny when people use the phrase stuck in traffic because it's like, no, you're in the car. Yeah. You're part of the traffic. But also, like, if that was happening, it's like, well, it's not actually their fault. Yeah. You're so, late. Well, I'm sorry. Someone died on the road. Like, well, yeah. Like, oh, like, I hate stuff like this because it's like, well, what could we do? We, should we have left four and a half hours earlier? Yeah. Yes, you should have death taller. Yeah. Now, we had to get a gift for you, Michael. So I phoned up Vivian Westwood <laughs> and we did. Why is she talking like a child? So we found so, Vivian I Westwood. Know, yeah, yeah. I know this is your 10th birthday. Yeah. Get discount. Oh, well so done, well, well done. There you go, oh, enjoy. Thank you. No, that's absolutely fab. Absolutely well done. Cool. You got some candles in any event. Unfortunately, we didn't get your foundation. <gasps> we know how important it is. And as we thought it was the music, a music. Yeah. you were having, we just thought yeah. it was toys. To me, appearance is everything. I really don't care about food. I don't care about flowers. Exactly. Any to me, 
is the makeup. Overall, we just, I don't know, I think they Definitely. didn't like it, but that we missed the makeup. And we all knew that makeup is a big part of Pete's. So life, that should have been one of the first things yeah, you Yeah, that, that should have been the gamble, first thing you got. And we're not sure, too sure if it, it will pay off. Damon's it would be funny like as well. That for me. What's funny like, as well die. is the other one was like, "What's the dinner party without candles?" And he's like, "I don't give a shit about flowers. Yeah. I don't give a shit about yeah, I want." Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just like I just care about the way that I look. Exactly. It's like, it's just, they, you could just sit them in an empty room as long as Pete comes in like glam to the yeah. Place. But that's the point, isn't it? You make it. You make an entrance. You go about where well, at least there was a Tesco candle on the side. Yeah, thank you. Yes. They finally make it back, though half an hour late. Right. You're late, but that that that's a bad mark against you. They're more pissed off. Okay, because it's then. got a bit dark outside, they've got no more light. Yeah. Why don't you explain about the flowers? We got that um, looks like 50,000. We've got quite a, a really good deal on those. Ooh, well done. Well, done. Well, I know. We've got you picked up your road as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brilliant. From Helen. Oh. And I'm Pete. Pete is not. <laughs> she looks she was like. How dare you didn't say that I did it! Daily Mail! <laughs> um, it's totally unhinged. What was that about? What was that, like, shot for? Uh, bizarre. The gift for Michael? Yeah. We wanted to get something that looked classy. No, that's absolutely I've got to tell you, that's really, really lovely. We've got, we got a 15 pound scarf. Yeah. A third off? Yeah. Yes. Wow. That's, that's yeah. quite good. That's that's a cherry. third off, so that scarf was like... Eighteen pounds. <laughs> Mark down to fifty. Oh, bargain girl! I think. Can I just? I want to clarify to everyone. We're not shaming people who do this because kind of it's because you've got to remember the premise of the show is for these people. It's and a, these, yeah. And these people would never. If you know anything about Pete Burns, they especially would never. Probably, they would never have this. It's not about necessarily what we're thinking. Oh, it's pov, disgusting. Like it's. We're talking about them, and this is exactly what they would never in real mm -hmm, life want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is your foundation. The way I always test makeup is if it can cover a tattoo. That's really great. Oh, and I've never, used, How do you know I've never used these products before. You obviously wanted vanilla scented candles. Yeah, that's so, great. Yeah, we just got you these two as a pair. You know, do they, do just, they, they smell lovely. Smell oh, they do, yeah. yeah. Wasn't SJ the one that was like, he's going to say it like a Madeira makes up Blonde. Blonde. the Daily Mail. <laughs> and look, no one has mentioned no. the Daily Mail at all. And then he stands up, beats he her, beats her to death. Yeah, she, <laughs> he buries her in it. It is a coffin. Uh, I'm bored. You did great. Thank you. Really, really, really good. good. Um, Pete adored the makeup. They did get everything. Bliss, you know. Funny how they didn't mention um, the, the flowers Peter. Were good. They gown. liked the candles. I mean, there really wasn't anything. Because they also got the Peter oh, as well. Oh, yes! That they did. Oh, it's a scandal, girl. So Don't you point at me. No, stop doing all that <laughs> immediately. Yeah. They really criticised. They, they I mentioned. I don't know why. I was just going to scream, eat my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I've got no interest in talking to you. <laughs> but what does Pete really think? It's Look, really I put nice. it on, it covered the butterfly two minutes later. That's oh, a that's gradual makeup. I couldn't go anywhere in that because I'd be au naturel in 10 minutes. Dog muck with ice and sugar oh, on. He hates it. Yes. But we said they were nice, so we were really two faced. We should have thrown them at them. Oh, she's a We did say, we did say. Since everybody is really, really close. Oh, I love his outfit. So. Well, I always love this kind of like do. Amy Winehouse hair. Well, I suppose the biggest wear. disappointment for me, given that this was a challenge about time management and organising, was that you were 28 minutes late. OK, Donna, how did yours go? OK, well, we had Ian as team leader. <laughs> she like shaking and crying, she's crying and shaking. I don't like that she's woman. Like, she's so she, like, she's really unlikable, yeah. isn't she? But she, listen to the way she says this. OK, Donna, how did yours go? OK, well, we had Ian as <laughs> team leader. <laughs> well, 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 you were dealing but, with the bitches know, of Eastwick. We did get back with five minutes to spare, which oh. was great. But on the negative side, we only came back with four out of five. Four people. We ate one. We ate one, yes. We sacrificed. It was too scary. We <laughs> ate MJ. Yeah. She wanted the Daily Mail, so we ate her. Yeah, I crushed her into the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> crushed the Daily Mail. Oh, I crushed it up and pushed it into the <laughs> Pet call showbiz for over 30 years, and I don't give a hoot who waits for me. Yeah, but the people who work with you, they've got to be good with time. Well, <sighs> if it's time management, I'm going to have to say you lost that task. Don't start crying about it or anything. So Don't start people. with me. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, I love how they were just kind of like... With Pete's decision final, oh, it's Damon, I guess you've won. Rhea, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Denise, I guess it's or you. SJ that will face elimination. Whoa. Who will not become Pete's PA? It's about taking oh, 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 who will die at the guillotine? Back to living two, it's and tonight our kick fest that is etc. is on the way next. If you're feeling naughty, you won't want to miss it. What's happening? happening? We love a venture in a quest. You won't want to miss it, trust me. Oh my god, Living TV uh, was just bed. like, um, it had no budget. Girls, I found out, I haven't packed Demons. Bags, but you know what? I'm prepared, like a good PA should be. 
two out of three of the girls will die. Be on my Christmas card list. Um, I didn't take a big role yesterday, um, but sometimes it is good to be. A woman. Know, a woman. A woman. That's what a good PA. Not in this. Why are we interviewing you whilst you're like, my pussy is ready? Yeah. To step back and when to come forward. I was told last night by Denise that she's <laughs> vying for me to go. But I did tell Damon that. So yeah, I'm, I can only go. And I'm not sorry about it. I'm not I sorry. Not no, sorry. Right, back rolls. Today and I could be packing my bags and going. I can sack a lot of the bitches. In all fairness, get rid of all the bitches. Send them right out the <laughs> door. Goodbye. Oh my God. What a Where's this bitch? Where you did that come? Queen. Oh Where my did that God. come from? Wow. I'm surprised that that was like, they were, that no one was like, can you not say that please? Maybe don't you? go that far. Wow. Mm. That was, that suddenly was like my-, my That was like visceral hate. My it? like opinion of him sort of went, we, I mean, his was going low because of Margaret Thatcher, but like- This episode's been like, Damon should go. Yeah. Da. Now it's time for Pete Burns, I like Rob Young, this. and Donna mm. Cooling to decide Donna which Kebab. one of the candidates will not become Pete's PA. Oh, the goth side. And Hi everyone. Out. Now it's time to find out which one of you has not got what it takes to be my PA, <laughs> and that person will have to leave the house immediately. The Daily Mail. <laughs> oh, the goth side. And the Daily Mail. <laughs> I <laughs> just push it into the car. <laughs> this is my most prized position. The Daily Mail. <laughs> He's actually wearing the Daily Mail. This is the Daily Mail. <laughs> Pete Burns as the Daily Mail. <laughs> I, I don't know why people watch us. We're insufferable. No one, anyone that's watching this for like Pete's PA, we can be like, why do you keep talking about the Daily Mail? <laughs> why does anyone watch? Pete, this is, Pete doesn't listen to this kind of No. Music. As you probably all know, I'm very, very disorganized. I'm very and I have gay. No sense of time, so I'm looking for a PA that can keep me running on time, keep track of my finances, and get me whatever I want before I even know I want it. Oh, that's not what a this PA does. This week's task sure. is about organizational skills and time management. You were given a list of items to purchase and get them back to me within three hours. Donna, how did your Donna? Think? Where's your kebab? He was a leader. He was very calm in a carload of crazy women. He tried to keep to his structure. Um, this language in this one has been very in the West End and seeing stores. Um, Nikki was very assertive, but possibly borderline, a bit pushy. Shelley was trying to do a lot of phone phone stuff in the car. They didn't bring the makeup phone back, done. but they wanted to get back in time because it was a time management challenge. Go on. I can't believe how misogynistic her language was mm. there. She was like these crazy women, and if you notice at the time, for uh, any sort of like criticism to be pointed at a woman, a woman's expectation was not to get angry, but to like smile and giggle. Like it was like, ah, yeah, I'm a crazy bitch. Ross! Like, like she should have been able to say, I'm not a crazy bitch actually. Yeah. I was doing a job that was necessary of me. That's all, oh, I don't like this at all. Also, Sadly, it's taken a dark the turn. The whole point of someone who's like, again, is it being a PA, is like, you need to be assertive, you need to know what you're doing, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah. Like, you were too pushy. But that is, that, is what, that is what Pete would want in a PA. Yeah, absolutely. On Rob, how did your team do? Well, the team that I was observing, Damon was in charge, and I was a little bit disappointed because, you know, we've been drumming into you that this was about time management, and you were nearly half an hour late. So even though they got all of the five items, they didn't get it to you on time. Mm. So as a team, you pleased with yourself? Yes. We pulled all together, yes, right. certainly. Yeah, Congratulations to the winning team. You can now leave the room. You're safe. Right. You're safe. You're safe. How, who's gonna go? No, I've got to hear. Damon, maybe? In mm. book clenching detail, how you feel the task went <laughs> and why you Sentence feel it went wrong from each of you individually. So, well, Denise, these step forward. These bitches tell me that I do it, these bitches! I want them all to die! The task went well because we worked very well together. Um, and I think we, um, we weakened because we didn't um, we concentrate did. fully on keeping We did to read time. the Daily That's Mail. Where we sort of all let each other down. Was somebody taking note of the time throughout the task? Whose job was that? Um, I was giving a half an hour markers. So do you think it was SJ's fault because she was looking after the time? No, I wouldn't blame SJ. Oh, I Sorry, would. Sorry, no. I mean, you blame? She was busy reading the Daily Mail. Then. Damon, I'm really sorry, but I want to stay and I do want to go. That's home. honest. Don't be sorry. That's what it's about. You've got to be honest and say what you feel. Her little weird okay, Leah. Okay. Um, I was a team leader the other day. I stepped up and took responsibility, and on that, sadly, I have oh, to Oh, like say a little the same. seal thing, really. Sorry. Isn't it? She's got really lovely, like this bit. Decollete. Okay, SJ. Damon and I have got very close. It's a very difficult thing, but I, and I don't want to even say it. 
But Damon? It's a really, really tough job. You've got to grow Damon yourself Bale. a big pair of balls. I'm not a weak person, no. Pete. Damon. <laughs> OK, well done. Aww. Damon. OK, time management Damon's was going. of the utmost importance with us to, um, on the task. We didn't monitor, the, as a team, we didn't monitor the, the time kind of back seat. She might be playing a safe card by taking a step back so she couldn't be so involved in, in perhaps in a losing team again. Rhea was in charge of the map and where you were going. Surely you can't take a back seat. You need to be in the front seat because you've got to tell people where you're going. And I, I believe I did that the whole way through. I checked with everybody mm -hmm. the whole time. I but you've just said that she took a back I mean, seat. And that, that was her role. That's what she did. And then that, that, was, all, that was kind of all she did. SJ, do you think that Rhea took on that proactive logistical role? Well, um, I have to say that when it came down to being in London, I think Rhea was quite nervous. And yes, I did have to give her quite a big hand. But you still ended up being half an hour late, so is it your fault? But I didn't want to come across as a big old bitch in the car. Well, there's any room for one big old bitch in this, and that's me. I have to say, from a personal so point there, of view, take that, I still find you a little bit overbearing. <gasps> so some of the ways that you deliver sentences, so you'll say, you know, it's only my opinion. It's almost like uh, you're saying, you know, it's only my opinion, but actually, I, I think I'm better than the rest of you. Well, that's not where I am. OK, we kind of heard enough now. <laughs> We've got to deliberate. Um, somebody's going to be going home today. Oh. So, can you please now... Piss off! Can... <laughs> Get out, Paul! I think it's going to be Damon. Do you think it's going to be Damon? It's not I feel like everyone's like, Damon, die! Damon. It's about taking each other out. I think it could be her, you know. And yeah, it's Rhea. It's hard, it's horrible, it's not very nice at all. Because she was in the bottom last week as well. She was. I forgot because it was both well, T-bombs. I can't remember, but I remember she was in the bottom. Agree. I think so. She was very strong. Yeah. Um, I can't fault her in that challenge. So we've got the other three to pick through, really. Rhea keeps... Well, she's lost three challenges now. Yeah, um, exactly. That's three. It's kind of bad, isn't it? This is the fourth this episode, so that yeah. time yeah. to go. To her yeah, credit, she's Rhea, then. very calm. Even though she was the one who actually had, like, experience. experiences being a celebrity PA. Well, that's, maybe that's the reason she's not the ex ex PA anymore. You don't get any of that. Maybe that's the reason oh, why yeah. she made this Because she yeah. wasn't busy yeah. getting lipstick out of a beard. Yeah. leader of the team, but I did see any around the maypole. He was invisible, wallpaper background. I know, but he's very good for group morale. He does keep everybody together. Everybody you, likes him. I mean, he's a very just said he wasn't going to die. He took that on the ship. He did well. yeah. Oh, he's yeah. very he important. Take yeah. him personally, yeah. which is great in an assistant. I think, I think this he... Donna woman just doesn't like women, women. No. I think she's like deeply misogynistic. She's the Blair White of the time. Out there now thinking he's definitely going to go. But I think SJ. Welling w. up. I mean, you, you think she's the kind of person who you ask her to make a cup of tea and she'll be in tears. Yeah. That worries me because I'm going to have to carry a big bag full of Kleenex around. Yeah. No, I mean, she's extremely loyal. You could see what a connection she has with Damon, and she, I I mean, she didn't want to say his name. So her loyalty <laughs> is great. Loyalty, very, very important. I have to say, she is like a Rottweiler. She is, you know, dogged determination, you know, sort of really gritty. She really persists. Mm. She will really work hard, so that's mm. a real plus for her. A minute ago, you just said she was Even overbearing in her... Disgusting. And now all of a sudden, she will She's really very work hard. Good. It's like the way... I tell you what. Like, what? What the hell is going on with your eggs? Two minutes ago, you were slagging her off. Now you're like, oh, she's probably... She's very good. She's probably... Win. She's probably yeah, win. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the Daily Mail. For me, there are three people. Each of them could go, and at the end of the day, it's I don't envy your decision. I, I, no, you know, it's I really thought it would be one again, Damon, but now that you said Rhea and what three times, I think it is. Yeah. Come on, Pete. Because there's not many guys now, I thought like they're probably more likely to keep the guys That's for a bit true. longer as well. Right, here we go, girl. I got the poison. I got the. <gasps> God the save the queen. Is the name of the person that's the not going to be my PA. It's being torn. Denise. <laughs> You've been a bit low Donna just the stands up and weeks. shoots them. <laughs> but these last tasks, you've really pushed yourself forward and you've shown me what a real go-getter you can be. So you're leaving. And I'd really like to see more of that. Well done. OK. Well done. Three, three times you've been on a losing team and that doesn't thrill me. I think you're getting a bit complacent. I think you got a lot of potential. You can do Electric well. Because last week she but got really angry. Do you remember? She said, I can't believe this has happened to me. You really got to pull your knickers up, girl. Ooh. Pull your girdle up. Yeah. SJ, you've performed Why are the really well down? in the tasks that you've taken part in. But you're kind of really too up and down, a bit emotionally unstable. That's really not a good qualification for my PA. <laughs> Damon, it's pretty obvious you're doing something right, as you've been oh. leader of a winning team a couple of times. But this time, you're a backseat driver. Ooh. And I'm looking for somebody who can take charge of a situation. Oh, dear. You better walk that f***ing duck.
Yeah. Uh, You're not going to be my Hand dad. me the gift of difficult time. Can you now leave the house? Oh, leave the hacienda. I came in here for the board, you know? <laughs> to be able to meet Pete and make my own judgments on him. Oh and you know what? He's an amazing guy. I'm going to leave here with my head held high and with dignity and integrity. I thought she just said you know, yeah, <laughs> with my dick intact. Aww. Well Go off down the road yeah. in London somewhere. <laughs> coming through, it's going to get tougher. Was a very glamorous Bye. Bye. But keep on doing what you're doing. The, the, Thank the, you. The, the team didn't even like give her a ride home. They were just like, you were going to walk from yeah, London. Can, Bye. Get way home. She lives in Suffolk. Oh, look at them holding hands. Oh. <gasps> no wonder he has a Margaret Thatcher t shirt because they both read the Daily Mail. Oh, yes. And we've got a new one now. Yes. Oh. So with Rhea eliminated, only seven candidates remain, oh, who will become Pete's PA. Have we got six more episodes of this? No, PA. no, no, don't know. Right, I've got some ideas. We've Move got to the middle. Some... So I've got some thoughts. Have you got some thoughts? My, I have no thoughts. No thoughts. No, no <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> only vibes. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> the end. This episode was clearly a filler episode. Oh, 100%. I mean, the last, like, 20 minutes were probably where the show should have, like, been. If this show was a half an hour I slot, think I think that would have been... Uh, that's the thing. I think the show should be a half an hour show. Yeah. I don't think this should have been, like, 45 minutes or however long it is, because... There's just too much of nothing. Yes, yes, too yes. Too much of nothing. What did they even do at the beginning? It was that a party box. Uh, here we go. Organise the juggling yeah. woman. Have a little sing song round the table. Because like it, like that never came into play again in the entire episode. No. He never referred to it. It was never talked about again. It was never referenced. It was just kind of... And it was a really long challenge to yes. decide who was going to be the team leaders. Yes, of... it just felt so pointless. Like, it was never yeah. mentioned again. I do like the fact that they tried to inject extra drama, though, by saying, pick the person who you don't want on your team. I actually feel like we should see that. Let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode in the comments box below. We will be doing another episode of this soon, but... Today. We, yeah, not today. <laughs> I couldn't bear looking at another one of all this. I think next time we're going to do another episode of What Not To Wear, girl, yes. please. To keep your peepers peeping. A daytime feed, a day to day. -day. A day to day daily mail. How do I introduce my Patreons? And now it's time for the Patreons. Oh, yes. And now it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. I don't know. I just I'm so glad that I'm the one I was like, like, knows I, forgot. Forgot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you guys for supporting the Chanel. It makes videos like this very possible. Oh. I am, oh my goodness. Back on, uh, I was going to say Instagram. Oh, no, Babe on Station. Twitch. Go and follow me over on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays. I will be resuming my Twitch shout out very, very, very soon. So make sure you keep following and keep watching for that. And I also want to say a massive thank you to my top Top tier Patreon. Aloria, Orcos Emoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Danny Smith, Dr. A, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Genevieve Herman, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Ryan Vita, Sexy Taxi RN, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, Travafall, Tromo, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? With that, I'm going to leave it on the note of... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bye.